Watching documentaries on marine life, often we see creatures depicted in gentle, clear waters, perfect in every way. However, we all know the oceans are not always calm. What happens during rough seas? Life goes on, of course. This large crab, securely wedged within a crack, is impervious to the relentless forces exerted upon it. Comb jellyfish has no such protection. Almost invisible, this comb jellyfish has no choice but to ride any turbulent waters. I say almost invisible because they often display spectacular colours of the rainbow, instantly giving away their position against their backdrop. How do they make these amazing colours? And why do they seem to be ever-changing? This is not CGI, nor is it a trick of lighting, but rather all due to many thousands upon thousands of microscopic hairs called cilia. These minute hairs form eight tracks known as ciliated bands along the creature's body. One of their purposes are for locomotion. How do these ciliated bands produce such brilliant colors? Before we can answer this question about where do these colors come from, we need to know something about the structure of these ciliated bands. Examination with an electron microscope reveals structures which look like miniature combs, hence the name comb jelly. However, unlike the teeth of a hair comb, the cilia are all basically the same size and the same distance apart, forming eight periodic structures. Now the next thing we need to understand is that basically everything that can be bent will change somehow upon being bent, even ourselves. Imagine being bent into some crazy shape. We might emit a yell and or certainly appear different after being bent. Now light can also be bent and when it gets bent, it also changes and we can see something quite different to the unbent light. Those hundreds of thousands of tiny cilia form tiny gaps of the same distance. We'll call these gaps slits. When light enters these slits, it becomes bent. The light goes into the slits as white light, but comes out the other side as the colors of an ever-changing rainbow. Because these ciliated bands form a periodic structure, and any periodic structure whose size is in the same order of magnitude of the wavelengths of visible light will be able to bend light. These sorts of structures are called diffraction gratings in optical physics. Think of the surface of a CD or a DVD, how when held into the sunlight produces a spectacular array of colours. DVDs and CDs also have a microscopic periodic structure, but instead of being a transmissive diffraction grating, they form a reflective diffraction grating. A note here is that a prism can split white light into the various colours of the rainbow, but the process is entirely different to diffraction. There is an ever-changing display of brilliant colours due to the combined movement of the cilia, the angle of the incident light and the creature's flexible body and the viewing angle. Hence we notice no colours being displayed. Those tiny hairs are actually still diffracting light but cannot be observed from this position. 